Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to camouflage thinning or areas of concern. So as you can see, I've already applied her products and I applied them about an inch to a half an inch from the scalp. This is so that we can create fullness at the scalp from the beginning and we're not trying to create it later on causing frizz and messing up our style. So if you do this, this is going to actually create a foundation for our fibers to connect and it's going to give us that illusion of fullness. So as you can see, I'm using a very thin section. This is so I can get maximum curls out of her hair to give me maximum coverage. Okay. It's very, very important that you use very thin sections and that you pull the hair 90 degrees away from the scalp. If you direct it in any other direction, it will cause gaps and spacing in your hair and make your hair look a lot thinner. So I know some of us want our hair to go in a certain direction, but in this case, I recommend just pulling the hair straight out from the scalp and allowing those curls to collapse in and fill in those gaps. So take your time, go ahead and part your hair, comb and smooth all the way through the ends so that you can get that beautiful definition. And then you're gonna get that separation that gives us that fullness as well. So after you're done with this, you're going to dry the hair 100%, okay? We want the hair to be really dry because we're going to go in and we're going to lift the roots to diffuse that area where we didn't put any products. And it's okay if a little bit of product gets on your roots. We just don't want it saturated. So as you can see here, I've already dried her hair and I'm using a plastic pick. This is really important. A metal pick, the teeth are too small and they're not gonna help to diffuse that hair at the base the way that we want to because the hair fibers are actually statically charged and they're going to connect to that dry hair and they're going to build upon each other to give you that fullness in the middle, okay? And you're gonna see how full her hair looks at the end. But now you just wanna gently lift, creating an Afro effect at the roots. You don't wanna do too much and pull through your curls that you created. You still want that definition on the end. So be very gentle and take your time. So this is my plastic pick by Afro pick. Um, just like that Afro pick, if you go to their website, they have some really cool designs. Um, so right here, I'm just lifting, continuing to lift until I get the volume that I'm looking for. And so that I get the diffusion effect. Actually, as you can see that I'm picking, you can see her hair is starting to look fuller already as we're picking it out. But be very careful to not overpick, okay? So now we have that Afro effect as I'm showing right there. And then we're going to start applying our hair fibers. So I'm using some black fibers. You can use dark brown. I prefer black um, because that's going to give me the best uh, look of density. So as you can see, I'm lifting the curl. I'm not just putting it on top of the curl because it's going to make the curls look ashy um, because it is a powder. So I'm actually lifting it and directing the fibers towards the scalp. This is very, very important that you lift it and direct it directly towards the scalp, okay? Don't just put it on top of your hair because we want these to go in and give us coverage underneath, but we want to maintain our definition on top, okay? And yes, your hair might look dull and ashy, but once we go through the next step of adding our holding spray, that's going to restore some of the shine and it's going to lock it in. And I'm sure you're wondering, does this last through sweating? Yes, it does. I've actually tested it out. My clients have worked out with it and it does stay. So as you can see, I have the holding spray and I'm going to apply quite a bit, um, not to make the hair wet, but just enough to hold everything in. Look how full her hair looks. But then she still has that definition and that movement and some shine on the ends. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay, and that's why I say you want to keep the products away from the scalp as much as possible. Yes, your hair is short, but really focus that product on the ends, the mid strand of ends. But as you can see, her hair looks nice and full and we're getting like lots of light up there just so you can see that is not see through at all. And this will last her for about two weeks. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and have a wonderful day.